Okay. Hi everyone. Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. And I just said hello to everybody coming in. Let me just fix my chat here. And if you're watching this, I always forget to say, if you're watching on YouTube, this is a live show over on Ustream TV. And should come and join us for all the fun. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Top Cop. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, Dar. <laughs> so um, on Sunday's stream, I did do the shaving technique for some of you guys who did see it. I did do some of the shaving technique, and this was the best. I love the black with the um, gold metallic. That was the best. And then some of these didn't come out too good. I really needed a good squeegee, but didn't come out. But I did make a couple cards today. That's my favorite. That one right there. And they still look pretty good. I mean, even though they this one looks like Christmas. It reminds me of the ki Christmas uh, candy. <laughs> and that one didn't come out good. But then we, we did quite a few of it. And then we were talking about webbing. Uh, for some people who didn't know what webbing was. Because I the last time I did the shaving cream, I had done it um, for Halloween. And what we did was we used webbing. Now, webbing used to come in the black and orange. But... They only had the black and gold when I went there today. So that's what it's actually called, webbing. She did? She did? Oh, darn, I missed it. How did it come out, Eileen? They were saying Fiona tried the marbling on her jelly plate today. I'll have to go look. So anyway, so that's the webbing. So this is what it looks like when you just spray it out. She did it? <laughs> well, I gotta go look, see how it came out. Oh, so so? <laughs> so that's what the webbing looks like. But it's cool for Halloween. We used to do it with the black and the orange, and then we would do a whole page, and then we would die cut uh, and then put our letters and stuff. Yeah, it's very cool, the webbing. So I'll play with it on Sunday, a little bit before we get going on Sunday. So just to show you how it works. But that's the webbing, for people who didn't know. <laughs> You were afraid to say what are you stream? <laughs> oh, why? Fiona, right? It is Fiona. Oh, it is Fiona 67. <laughs> Everybody was getting confused. So that is her official <laughs> you stream Fiona 67. <laughs> Jean, where's Jean? <laughs> Ask Jean. I don't know. They want to know what Jean was drinking today. <laughs> it isn't her Twitter name. Got ya. <laughs> So I did take some of the um, the papers that we did, and this one I just backed up on some hot pink. So that's this one. <laughs> You're crying again, Jeannie. I don't know, Jeannie's been crying a lot this week. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, if you weren't here Sunday, they were kind of ordering me around. <laughs> Not really, though. And so here's the one I did. Now, this was the one that we didn't like too much um, because I had tried. This was the very first one I did, and I had tried to put um, the silver metallic alcohol inks. <laughs> you just woke up, Annabelle, to the games. <laughs> Funny games. So um, to me, this looked like feathers. So I kind of use the stickles, there you go, and you can see that I outlined it all in um, feathers. And then I had a little piece left, so I aligned my envelope. There's Jean! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hi Jean! Oh my gosh, everybody's just giggling today. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, remember we thought that this was like muddy and stuff, but it turned out okay. I put it on a gray envelope. But um, I really like this one. I, so I cut out the feathers. And then I put made my little own inkwell. And um, I used Seth's um, stamps. And so, yeah. and then So this one didn't come out too bad. I mean, it looked terrible, you know, on there. But once you put it in a card, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lynn's just like, please, please. She doesn't want to laugh anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. <laughs> Oh my god, they're still laughing. If you guys don't go on Twitter, you're missing a lot. <laughs> me too, I mean, I like that. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. To me, it just looked, just with that vein going through, they were just like feathers to me. So, I think I had another one that I cut out with the feather. Oh, what did I get? Okay. Oh, here it is. 
You didn't think it was muddy? Oh, I did. <laughs> Let's see. Look how cool it looks like a feather. So I have another one to make for another card. Yeah, so I like the way they came out afterwards. But not bad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today we're going to work on some, I have a whole bunch still of the Garden Fairy, uh, Garden Fable from Prima. <laughs> you just tweeted your card. Oh, good. The ew card. <laughs> yeah, if you were here Sunday, I kept getting shaving cream. You know, I don't like anything on my hands. Gooey. And I kept going, ew, ew. <laughs> so they said I should call the shaving cream technique the ew technique. <laughs> I think Terry said that. <laughs> uh, hi, Gigi. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Just enjoy the creating. Oh, my gosh. You guys definitely should go on Twitter. It's so much fun. So anyway, remember I did a couple of these rapid cards um, and sent them off to Dee Dee, but I still like doing them. Um, and then I put some texture paste on there. And just put a little, They're very easy. And um, I just folded it, and then I could just write my little message here. You're mailing it to me? Oh, cool, Dar. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, so I love my little rabbit. It's very cute, and it's quick. So I'm going to make a lot of those. And then I did this one. I figure I could either write happy birthday or something on this one. So, so that was one of the ones I did. It was super easy. I just fussy cut this one a little bit. And I used one of the ATC cards. And then just ribbon. And then there's a little, a little leaf. Isn't it cute? Hi, Colleen. <laughs> and then this one, um, I just cut out um, from the A4 pad. This is the one that had all the China wear stuff. And then I just cut a circle I actually just used my score tape and then just went around probably can't see it um, just on the inside so it looks like a plate and then just added a few flowers so so this one was pretty easy so I figure we'll do a couple tonight you know I want to do the one with the um... oh thank you Ella hi Ella so let's see I started cutting so oh and then Jean had suggested on my um, shaving cream ones, the one that I had the metallic was to cut out some gears, so I did. So, um, I'll show you what those look like. So, um, Sunday, if I do a steampunk um, journal, I'm going to use these on here. Hi, Liana. <laughs> Hi, Pam. So, let's see if I get one with a lot of the gold on there. But they came out good. So that was Jean's idea to do that. So, so I did. Do they look good? You probably can't see. It's, they're, they have a lot of shine to it. So, thank you, Linda. <laughs> yeah. So I'll get to play. With, we'll play with those on Sunday. <laughs> Jean sounds good. <laughs> As, a pet, as opposed to what? She didn't sound good before. <laughs> Colleen. <laughs> yep. Yep. Our, yep. Our gene. Yep. She told me to do it. So I did. Always have to listen. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. You always have to listen to Jean. So. Oh, and I forgot to bring out my... Um, my layouts, darn. Uh, Jean, did you check your mail? I can't believe you still didn't get any mail yet. I'm still looking. Sticking to it, Jean. <laughs> Not always, apparently. That's true, Linda. Not today. <laughs> uh, you're still, that's good. Lisa says she's still sticking to her. So let me see what else I have to say. So um, Ella's got a show on Friday. She's got an extra show. So if you guys are doing a, her Seashore album, she's on a Friday. And then this Saturday, um, if you guys know Lisa Loves to Scrap, she's going to do her first Ustream on Saturday before Paula's. So she'll be on from either 7 or 7.30 till 9 o'clock before Paula comes on on Saturday. So be sure to check her out. If she's not here, I would tell you to, she could put in, I don't have a, links allowed. 
let's see. And I, I don't know if she's going to change her name, but her Ustream not, name right now is I Am That. She didn't know what to call it, so let's see if I can get it here. So if you want to follow her, and she said she's I Am That. So that's our Lisa, um, Lisa who loves to scrap. And she's going to do um, some watercolor, I think. She's going to show how to do some watercolor, so... So that'll be fun. Oh, hold on. There we go. Lisa. Oh, you know, Pam, Lisa, um, she's love to scraps. Love to scrap. I think it is Lisa. Um, she's streaming on Saturday before um, Paula. So I think she said it was going to be... Let me do my marker. Lisa. She went to... If, if you saw her on the um, video in Maryland... She was there at, um, in Maryland, and I think she said she's going to either go on 7 to 9 or 7.30 to 9, just before Paula. Yeah, just before Paula. Okay, I'll make sure somebody posts it on Twitter. Okay, Eileen, yeah. So, yeah, but it'll be her first one, so she's kind of nervous, so got to send her some love. All right, so let's see our first card. So I did kind of my first card like the um, kind of like the house in a box. Only I cut some butterflies out of that paper too, <laughs> out of the shaving cream paper. So I wanted to show you that if you didn't have the um, what do you call it, the brick, this brick stencil, that you could just cut it with. Um, you don't think you're getting tweets? What's your name, Carol? Follow Jean. If you follow Jean, then we can get you from Jean. Please don't ask that, Lynn. Oh, no. You want to know who's the mystery? Oh, no. Don't ask that. <laughs> oh, no. Jean, you didn't get your happy mail? Did you check? Oh, you'll be good now. Okay, Lynn. <laughs> So anyway, so um, so I just want to show you that all I did was cut this from cardstock, and I'll show you tonight. And then um, I'm just going to add. I use Tim's pediment again. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> don't follow. Oh, don't follow Jean tonight. They're saying <laughs> they're not trusting Jean tonight. <laughs> oh, she does follow you. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to go check her out then. Um, so. So I figure we'll do that card. I'll try to do the pink card. We'll do one with the texture paste. Hi, Erica. <laughs> no, you didn't check. Oh, you fell asleep. Oh, darn. <laughs> um, I got some ribbon. Let's see what else. Tags. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. So I want to get, uh, I thought I had a piece of paper already cut out, I did. Alright, so I think this is about the same size. Alright, so I'm going to do this card, but with the texture paste, so you can see. I'm going to bring it in one. <laughs> Let's see. That should be good. It's very hard to follow us. <laughs> Alright, so what I did was, I, um, I just distressed the edges, and of course I don't see my distressor. Um, there we go, I'll use this one. So what I usually do is, um, I ink before I distress because it's hard to ink um, while it's already like all crumbled up. Um, let me see if I can find my ink. So this one is yellow. Hold on. <laughs> Bunny? I didn't see bunnies. Bunny cop popped in? I didn't see Bunny yet today. Alright, I'll use this one. This one is vintage photo. There's so many Lindas, I know. <laughs> there is Lindas. Too many Lindas. And then we have a few Carols, too, now. <laughs> Alright. 
So I usually ink before I distress because I like to get it inside here so it... <laughs> June bug? Who's June bug? <laughs> oh, June bug, are you referring to June Marie? Because <laughs> I call my girlfriend June, I call her June bug. <laughs> So I like to just put a good edge on there. Hi, Angela. And then I go ahead and distress it. Yes, today we have three Lindas. Army Mom, she's Linda. Then we have Mac Linda. And then Linda Holloway. <laughs> so three Lindas here tonight. Oh, so I was saying I um, we have a scrapbooking store opening up in September here. It's like 45 minutes away from my house. So um, I'm going to be teaching there. I'm, I'll be doing tear bears for the first, first month. And then I think the next month I'm going to be doing um, a little mixed media. And never too many Lintas. Oh, another Linda. There's Linda, Linda D. If you see her right there, there's four Lintas here tonight. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Linda, there's a new scrapbook store down in South Tom's River, and uh, I know that's far for you, but I'll be teaching there on September 17th. I'll have to send you the info when I get it. Do you not yet go to interview? Oh, what are you going for an interview for, Lorraine? I haven't seen it. It is an exciting page. Yeah, we haven't had a scrapbook store now here, I think, in like two years. So, yes, it was very exciting. And I already have three people signed up. I mean, they just posted it, I think, yesterday. So... Where's the news? I'll have to send it to you. I don't have all the information yet, so I will. <laughs> four Lindas, yes, four Lindas. You see L D R A C E B. She's also Linda. <laughs> so we have four Lindas now. It's a Linda invasion, <laughs> Eileen says. <laughs> I missed it, Loriana. Where are you going? A job to support <laughs> to support your habit. I hear you. <laughs> That's why I'm happy that the scrapbook store is opening up. It's like, woohoo! All right, so now I have that. So I figured tonight I would, instead of using um, this one, instead of using this stencil, I'll use Tim's tonight. Because you guys could still get that. I don't know if you can get the other one. So if you want to get a brick stencil, um, Tim has one. Let's see. His is... I thought I had it. Here it is. It's number 38. Actually, six Lindas. Oh my gosh. It is a Linda invasion. <laughs> Eileen says, whew, she's glad there's only one Eileen and one Jeannie. <laughs> Yay for the Lindas. <laughs> oh my gosh, six Lindas tonight. <laughs> So we're going to use this one. This is brick, and this is Tim's number 38. So in case you guys want to get that. Hi, Bunny. We are just talking. Somebody was looking for you before. So that's Bunny. Bunny's here. All right, so we're going to use Tim's. Move this one away. Hi, Meg. <laughs> Hi, everyone coming in. All right, so I have some texture paste. So on my card, I thought I had another card up here, but I want to say that for the pink one, but this, you'll get the idea. So what I usually do is I usually go just at the top and the bottom, figuring you're going to put a window or something, a doily in the middle. Oh, uh, where is my... <laughs> Linda Bunch here? Yeah, there's the Linda Bunch gang here tonight. <laughs> 
six Lindas here tonight, Bunny. So I'm going to, uh, I know I'm going to center this in the middle. So I'm just going to add some um, texture paste on the top here. I'm gonna put, and I usually always put some on the side here. So I usually go top and bottom. Love the brick. Yeah, me too. So there we go. So that's that one. So we'll dry that. Nobody else is named Bunny. This is true. <laughs> All right. Heat gun, Paula. <laughs> No, there's not 61 lenses. <laughs> okay, this <is> funny. be a creative name <laughs> so then once you have your texture paste then I go in there with I need a water pen whoops and I take the distress ink and I put some up here on my desk and then squeeze some water in there and then I just paint the bricks. Give it like an old fashioned building look, you know. And then I do it the other side. I've been off for two days, Pam, and I've done no art. Sometimes you're just not in the mood. That happens. You just want to make sure you get that all covered and I go on up a little bit down in here no plane that's it we kept yelling at Colleen last night when she was streaming no plane <laughs> she wasn't hearing us then finally she did <laughs> so see and then you can go back over the brick and get this as dark as you want. And doesn't that just look like a brick wall? I love that. You just slept and you just watched you stream. That's good. <laughs> That happened to me the other day. I just was like, oh, I don't know. I just didn't feel like arting. <laughs> so then I'm going to clean this up with some cheesecloth. So I'll have um, a little piece of this in that color. No chat, no chat. <laughs> That's Colleen. Poor Colleen had no chat last night. And then I'm going to hit this. I thought I had my gold tea stain. Let me see what I have here. So I want to ink this just a little bit more. And you go back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more water in here. Oops. And then just... And then we can use this in, in our... Just a little bit more. There we 
we go. So now we'll be able to use this. What is she looking for? Kimonos? <laughs> what is she looking for? All right, so we'll let that dry. I want to grab my tea stain, so let me get that, which is all the way over there, without me knocking everything over. Hold on. Avalanche, avalanche. Hold on, let me get it. There we go. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Not too bad, just a punch. All right, so then I'm going to take my Prima, my Prima um, tea stain, and I like to spray these. I'm going to spray both of them. I'm just going to give that a little spritz. It just like ages it. And then I'm going to take some seam binding and just clean this up. Well, I'll have a little bow. It'll be just a little bit of gold on here. Ikea? Who's going to Ikea? I want to go to Ikea. We have an Ikea here, but it's like ugh, an hour away from here. All right, so now I have ribbon ready and cheesecloth ready. Let's heat that. Tweeter, I'll have to go look. <laughs> heat gun. not too long ago. I thought I saw her at gym stream maybe a couple weeks ago. Or, dar. Do not ask Vicky. Oh my gosh. You better go back and check Twitter. <laughs> uh, it's a mix up causing <laughs> causing poor Jean a headache. Eat gun is not dry yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was at at uh, gyms. I want to say like two weeks ago. All right, so now we have that. So then I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see, what should we put in the middle here? I was looking for my rose stamp. Do, can you tell me where it is? I, I would like to know because I can't find it. So this is going to go on here. And then I usually like to put this on a thin, um, like a cereal box type you know, super thin, a super thin chipboard, like cereal box, you know, so I'm just going to measure this, just guess, doesn't have to be exact, <laughs> I 
Don't feel bad, Jean. <laughs> they have to pick on somebody. <laughs> And then I just add the chipboard on here and that will straighten out our piece. You started the whole thing? <laughs> oh, Lynn says she started the whole thing. <laughs> they can't wait for Fiona now to wait. <laughs> Jean says this is a good one for you all to remember. I put something in my paper clip holder for a safe place, but she can't remember what now. <laughs> Jean, you're having a bad day. All right, so see how wobbly it is now? It's just like all curved and stuff. So you want to straighten that out with just a piece of chipboard. Plus, it, I like to um, pop dot, like, you know, do pop dot on my, um, I want this one this way. I like this when I do the brick wall, when I did it for a uh, pack or dies card too, when I put the little girl on there. I love doing these cards with a faux uh, brick wall. All right, so then I'm going to put this one down. <laughs> Who has a cold? John is still? Just use my three. I don't know why I'm using this big one. <laughs> Picking on poor Jean. All right, so I'm just going to glue this one down. And then I only take one piece, one side off, so that I can center it the way I want. There's Terry. I was just talking about you before, Terry. <laughs> you like the chipboard idea? Yeah. I just use it real thin, and it doesn't give a lot of bulk to the it, you know, but um, it straightens it out. I always put, like, thin chipboard. Plus, you don't waste pop dots if you want to, you know, I... If you don't want to use a lot of pop dots, it's good. And then your card is nice and straight. And it gives it just a little, just a little bit, see, of dimension, but not a lot. <laughs> right, so we have that. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I just took a little piece of um, burlap. So I'm going to do another wall here. And then before I put this down, what I did on this one is I just took some, um, a stamp, any stamp that I have with script or anything like that. I wanted the, my rose one so that I could put some roses on here, but I can't find it. So let's see what else I have. This one thinks, here I'll use this one. Yes, because this is a card, so, you know, it's not like, you know, probably whoever, uh, when I give cards, most people, well, my family, they don't really keep the card, so I try to, um, I don't really worry about acid-free or anything like that, so I just use a cereal box. Alright. So this one's got some cute little flowers, 
so I'm not using a um, stamp I'm just going to roll it on because I don't want the full image on there actually I should use archival so if I spray anything on here so I'm just going to kind of like roll it off and here and there because we're going to cover this anyway so four five so just enough to go around just to give it a little little something something <laughs> what happened is anyone else pad first thing to So then now I can go ahead and add my burlap piece down. So I'm just going to add it with, um, I think I'll use it. I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. Just set that down like that. What kind of wrappers is she looking for? Hi, Packer Die. <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't, Jean. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> All right. So now I have. I'm going to use this pediment. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. See, this is why you guys have to come up to the chat because you're missing out if you don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Angela. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No, I cannot read that out loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about you, Packard. Do I remember when I sent you the card? Actually, Dee Dee sent you the card. I just love doing that brick wall. All right, so I'm going to use, I'll use this one. <laughs> uh, is it a full moon? I don't know, Jeannie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're right. I uh, beat red. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, and so then I'm going to take a little bit of that um, cardboard again, and instead of using pop dots, I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to cut this in half. A little bit longer. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I need my, where is my, uh, my glue? You guys have me all flustered now. <laughs> where is my glue? Oh, I can't find it. I'll have to just use this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're feeling sorry for me again tonight, Jeannie? <laughs> oh my gosh. What did you say? I missed it, Vicky. Well, I have to go back and look that way. Wait. Wait. Oh my gosh, you're going too fast. Shoot, I missed it. I missed what she said. Oh, making you want the brick stamp. Okay. Uh, but you don't have to do it. You could do it like this. Uh, and I did the bricks just by cutting it, so... <laughs> oh my goodness that's funny <laughs> oh that's okay <laughs> that's okay Kathy <laughs> I think they just want Jean just wants to get the attention off of her that's what it is no I'm kidding Jean <laughs> <Hi>, Teresa <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Tracy, you missed a lot already. <laughs> you missed it. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to put this down. I want to get this flower that I have there, so I'm going to put this window down just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So now we could do like a flower box at the bottom here. We could do anything really. So we'll do two, make two different ones. So let's see. What do I have here? Let me pull out my uh, my tags. So we have this one, Home Sweet Home. <laughs> oh man, catch you, catch you up. I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, I like this one with the bird's nest. So I think I'm going to put this one here among the birds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this straight off. <laughs> They'll have to catch you up, Teresa. So you'll have to go to Twitter first. Go to Twitter first, and then you'll have an idea. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stick this one underneath here so it looks like a little window pane. I'll use my tape, I think. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's what happens when you're looking up at the chat, like, in between a conversation. <laughs> oh. For some reason, you know, exactly right away. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to set this one in here. And then I'm just going to add some flowers on this one. So, let's see. On this one, I'm just going to add these big flowers, these big pink flowers. And then maybe we'll add our ribbon on there. We can add some of this cheesecloth. I don't know if it's dry yet. I'm going to cut this in half. Oh my gosh, if you're new to this chat, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put the cheesecloth in between here. I like to usually just twist it. So I'm going to stick that in there like that. And then I like to add some of this twine. <laughs> oh my gosh, Angela's getting her caught up. <laughs> is CB here? I didn't see. There she is. Oh my gosh, she missed a lot, CB, too. <laughs> you and Teresa. <laughs> so I just go back and forth with this and then just twist it also. So I'm going to take my fabric glue. Oh no, <laughs> that's not true, Jeannie. <laughs> poor, they're picking on poor Jean, Carol. All right, so I have my fabric glue down. I'm gonna stick the twine in here, and then I'm gonna glue these flowers down. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that one in there. I'll put this one here. she'll have to watch. She might not get all the funny stuff, darn. No, you, I don't think you will. Oh my gosh, poor Jeannie. She's been crying for since Sunday, I think. <laughs> I need one more flower. Where's my flower? One more. Where is it? Well, maybe I'll just do the two. Add one of these on here like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some will have to fill you in. in. <laughs> uh, I want some green. Here we go. Put some green on here. And then I'll stick this in here. So it's simple as that. I mean, I think these make a great card. Are 
free back Twitter. Yep, things will be happening. <laughs> then saying that it was all Lynn's fault. So there we go. Let's see if I have another leaf here. I can stick on here. And I'm going to stick another leaf down in here. Aren't these pretty? I love these leaves. Um, put another. I think I need to this one just a little bit. Bye, Erica. Erica's going to have her dinner. put regular leaves if you have but I just happen to have these so that's what I'm using I'm looking I had another little pink flower but it just I don't know I just can't find it right at this moment right at this moment no, I don't know where it is but there we go so see there's our first card and then you could put a little saying here if you wanted to hello or whatever you wanted so that's the first one. <laughs> uh oh, putting Angela in the corner. Angela's walking to the corner. They're getting, they're getting carried away. All right, so for this one, let's see what should we do. I'd like to put maybe like a bird on here or, and then I have all these little flowers that I made. And this is with the Martha Stewart, you know, the one that has, um, it's like a little flower and it's got two tiny little ones. Thank you, Vicki. Thanks, Eileen. So I'm going to put these little white ones. And I might um, spray these with gold because they're so bright. But I love these little white ones. So we can do that. Maybe put a bird branch. Let me see what do I have. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. And then I have... I could go with all just white, maybe. So these cards are, you know, and they're fast. They're not, you know, they don't really take up a lot of time. So, oh, here's my other pink flower. So see, I can stick this one in here like that. Because I do like to put three on there. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Hi, Miko. Oh my gosh. Are are you just listening? She's going to cry with this one. <laughs> with the context? There. See how cute? I love that. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's do another one. And let me see if I can find like a bird or something that we can put on here with the branch. Miko! <laughs> Were you hiding in the corner? Were you listening to everybody? So we have that. We might put our little cheesecloth. And then maybe we'll put our bow on this one. So again, I'm going to put the cheesecloth. And you could add, like, you know, if you have stamps and, you know, you have a little girl, you could, you know, pop her up on the branch. I wanted to see if I had like a bird's nest or something I thought I had. <laughs> oh my gosh, the chat is like carried away today. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for my little, my little friend, not my bird. <laughs> cannot talk about the chat anymore. I cannot. It's like R-rated now. <laughs> I need my little bird. I know I stamped it. I cut it out. Why did I put the chipboard on the back? Because remember when I sprayed it, it was kind of all wobbly. Plus, instead of using pop dots, you know, pop dots are pretty thick. So I like to use just the thin chipboard because it does give it dimension, just a slight bit of dimension. So 
and then see it was all curled up but now it's nice and straight just gives the card some more strength we could put one of these little girls like this make this like a fountain if I had some paint maybe scotch quick dry uh, Bach kicked you out. Oh no, die. <laughs> so let me paint this. If I have any, I do have some paint on here. So let me paint this first. So it got all splotted. You can't see that, but it's got like all black dots and stuff all over it. I'm going to put one of my little faces on here. So this was with paper clay. Am I going to my bear tonight? No, I wanted to bring up my layouts to show you guys. So I do have to, maybe I'll make one bear. I want to make a card when I go to Dina's um, shot, um, class and I want to do a care, uh, tear bear card for her. So maybe in the end I will, if I get some paper. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're just cracking up. <laughs> oh, no more, no more wet ones. I'm gonna get another one. I do have some maybe I'll do this as a thank you card so let's do I have a couple thank you stamps so I have this one it says thank you let's see if I have any other one I have that one I'm addicted to these little stamps. I just I have like a ton of them. Like I can't pass them up. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we'll make this a thank you card. I'm going to do my little, I think I'm going to put my little face down in there. I need a bigger flower. this will look good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear out the middle and then use that as another little flower hi Cheryl <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to pull this off nice she just finished her supper all right so I'm gonna put my little head on there actually I'm gonna do it with my fabric tech and then I'll have one more card to show you guys I don't really even know if I showed you at one time but I'll show it to you and see so I'm gonna stick my head in there I think I'm going to stick it right in the middle. Kind of like this is like the waterfall card, you know, like a water garden. Oh, thank you, Ella. Yeah, these are really easy and fast. All right, so I'm going to stick this one in here. Oh, let this give me our time. And I'm going to stick all these other little ones that I made 
on here. And then I'm going to spray this, I think, with that some of that tea spray so it's not so white. I'll stick this down. And this one has glitter on, if you can see. You love the, love the soft tones? Me too. And then I'm going to stick this down, our little cheesecloth that we put down there. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> I missed all the fun. <laughs> that down if I put another I think I'm just gonna do those three but I have some real tiny little ones I want to stick in here one there I even put one on this little head right here a head <laughs> You've been lurking? <laughs> oh, he's got the new TV. That's right. Carrie's husband, hubby's got the new TV. Oh, thank you, Cherry. That, and I think we'll put um, some ribbon. Maybe we'll cut some of these apart. This is a Spellbinders one. I forget what the name of it is, but we could put some of these leaves on here. These, I think I'm gonna go with these white ones too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's stick this one down in here. Actually, behind the um, behind there. New TV, yep. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stick one on this side. Where did I use the texture paste for the bricks? Yep, it's just like the house, yep. What I did was I used Tim's, what did I do with it? This is Tim's Brick. He has a brick stencil. There it is. So it's called Bricked number 38. Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> yeah, so this one I used a texture paste CB, and then this one I didn't. I actually cut them. I cut these out. Hi, Miss Linda. Oh my gosh, another Linda. We have seven Lindas here tonight. <laughs> seven Lindas, that's got to be a record. And I'm going to add these little tiny leaves on here, too. Got to run, okay? Bye, Cheryl. Thanks. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick these all in here. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Two. I'm going to stick this in. <laughs> and in this one I think I'm going to stick this ribbon on here oh and then I don't know if you could see I'll have to put it on autofocus it's actually um, cracking um, the little face because this is uh, what is this this is the um, distress paint um, tattered rose so it's crackled so let me show you how it looks I can get it to, if I can get it to stay still. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. There it is. See it? Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's cute. Oh, 
Uh, Carly something. I missed it. Yeah, seven Lindas. That's a record. So isn't that cute? We should put like a little ledge or something on here. So then I'm going to add this ribbon. What's so happened my bow maker here? I used to have my bow maker here. But I don't have it. So what I do when I want to make my bow. And you can do this like with a fork or... But now I have to decide how big I want my bow. I'm going to say it like that. So I usually cut just like this. Like this is probably an inch and a half. And then I cut a divot in the middle. And then I put a little tail here. And then I wrap this around. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a double bow. So I'm going to go around once. Once, twice. Then I go over the top here and I hold my I hold this one while it's going over so it looks like a loop and then I stick it underneath and if you have a bow maker it's exactly like a bow maker uh, does and then I come over our top and put it through that little circle I know it's hard to see my fingers in the way and then you just pull it down so it becomes a bow like that and I just pull it off you can't see I'll have to do it slower let's see so there's a double bow so let me cut this so I'm going to stick that right down there like that you're going over to Paul's, okay, Eileen? Thanks for coming. It was fun. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be there later. Come here and put yourself in the corner. <laughs> See how pretty that bow looks? Hi, Paige. Okay. <laughs> See you later. So let me do it. Um, let's see if I can do it uh, with bigger ribbon, if I have some bigger ribbon here, so that you can actually see. So what I usually do, and I'm just doing it bigger just so that you can see, but you can make your bow whatever size you want. So what you do is you need to cut out the center. So if you want this, let's say you want this to be an inch. So it's going to be an inch on this side and an inch on this side. So I just cut it down so that it's not really an inch. So you have this. You too. Okay, okay, Jeannie. <laughs> okay, bye, Jane. Jean. <laughs> so then you do this, like this. So I don't have a big piece of ribbon, so I'm going to try to do it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'll try to do it with this because it's darker. So see if you can see. Or, yeah. Can you see with this one? So you leave a tail like this. I'm only going to do one. If you want to do two, you would wrap it around. So you go down like this, and you come around. So that would be one. And then if you wanted to do two or three, you would just keep going. Thank you, Linda. So then what I do is when, once I come around with the one, I, hold, I put my finger here, and I hold this so it's like a loop. Can you see that? So it's like a loop. Then you come over the top. I need to cut this so that you guys can see. So you come over the top. So you're coming over the top here. Then you're going to stick this underneath. Okay, Colleen. Um, and you pull that out. So now you have this. And you're still holding on here. So you have my finger here. Like that. Then you take this piece that came underneath. You go through this loop on top. Like that. And then you have a loop here at the bottom. So you want to come through both loops. So you're coming through the top loop and you're coming through the bottom loop. And then when you tie it, you just pull this and that and that creates your bow. Did you get it? It's not hard. Just have to remember that when you come around you've got to keep your finger on that loop. And then you go through the top and then underneath.
So and then, I mean, like I said, you could wrap it two or three times, like that. And so then you would just make a bow. And you could make this as big or as you know wide or as little as you needed. You got it, good Ella. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you got it. Oh. Yep, that works. Okay, good. So, um, so I think this is looking really cute. We need to put like a little thing. Maybe I'll just put the word thanks on here. Let's see, what do I have? I took out my... And then I'll show the cards again that what we've done so far. Um, okay, right here. So I think I'm going to use this one. Thank you. Got it? Okay, good. Thanks, good, Darcy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this one. It says thank you. So I'm going to take some white paper. Show some white paper. White paper. Yeah, <laughs> I have your snail mail address. Yes, I do, Carol. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stamp this on here. So get a block. So for this one, bye, Terry. I'm just going to do the word thank you on here so I'm not worried about getting the whole thing. Just thank you. I'm going to use my brown ink. I'm going to stamp it a couple of times only because, whoops, this is a new stamp. And you don't always get it good the first time, so we'll see how it goes. one. Oh, you can't even see me stamping. Hold on. I just stamped it on there. All right, and then I'm just going to cut this out. Now it's quiet to chat. <laughs> so I can just put this right on here like this. And I'm going to um, use my, my um, chipboard again instead of pop dots. And I'm just going to glue them. I'm going to put two pieces together. So again, I'm going to glue this on here. Oh, too much. A piece there. So I'm just adding two pieces of chipboard, real thin, like cereal box. I might even do three. Let's do three. a little bit so that'll fit on there <laughs> CP says she hasn't been she hasn't done anything that I she could be thanked for <laughs> well I could just thank you for coming to the chat how's that And then I'm just going to add this in, on here like that. <laughs> there we go. So then it come out cute and it's still different than the one that we did here. But they're still both kind of nice. I can send you that one CB. <laughs> so I can send you this one. <laughs> but yeah, isn't it 
cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so. Yeah. And then it's, even though it's white, I mean, I could tone it down with um, the spray. <laughs> Let's see. We'll just add a little bit of spray on here. There you go. There. Now it's not as white. Can you see? I don't know if you can notice it. You might not be able to. But yeah. But they're cute now. So we have that one. We did this one. We did that one. And then I have this one. So really with all your little scraps, you can make some really cute cards. Got that one and that one. And then what I wanted to share with you too. Now I could have done this card. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I could have done this card um, just like this with I wanted to show you I could have put it on here like that and it looks nice you know just like that but with that added pop of black it just really pops that card out you see so sometimes um, don't always think that you should just like put just put one piece of paper down on your car on your card the spray the spray is this is one of my favorite sprays for like to make things vintagey this is a Prima tea stain and it's got like a gold shine to it. It's a color bloom sprays from Prima. It's called Tea Stain. It's really, it's one of my favorites. So you could see, I don't know if you could see the shine on here. Yeah, I think you can. A little bit right here. You could see it. But it has some gold shine on there. Yep. Yeah, so always think about, you know, when you're doing your card. Same thing like this one. I could have just laid this top card down. But that added pop of black just really makes it stand out. So, all right. So I have that. We have like 45 minutes. So I was thinking I have a card. Still, I love these little faces. So now you can do this. Hi, this girl. Is it a building stamp? Uh, this one? This one I used um, texture paste. Tim's um, brick. Yes, it has just a hint of shine, yeah. I used his um, stencil, but on this one I just cut. This one I just cut. And the, to do the bricks, it's really easy. All you want to do is just, and I just kind of move my scissors like back and forth. You know, I don't really like pay attention to, I just kind of like wiggle it. So see, it's just a jagged, Oh, the pink one. This one? I cut it from the A4 pad. So that was using... the paper? Uh, well, this is a 6x6. Six six, but what I did was I cut the little houses. And I just added on there. And then this is the ATC card on here. And then I same thing, I just put it up with some chipboard and layered um, each piece with chipboard. Just um, like cereal box thin. Yep. Yep, I cut it and just inked the edges. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, for the brick, all you do is I just kind of wave, you know. I make it like a, however you want your brick, you know, quarter inch. Between like a little bit of quarter inch and half an inch. And then I just kind of round the edges so it looks like that. And then you just decide how long you want your brick. <coughs> and you just make sure that you round the edges. I'll do a couple of them. And then you can just make them big, small, little. Once you ink them, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. Let's see if I put it on. See, like this. Yep. And so then you can just layer them and keep going. So if you don't have a stencil, you can make them yourself. Oh, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, I love doing the bricks, especially if you're doing it like around a window like that, you know, and you can just add them on. <coughs> it does give it a lot of dimension. I mean, the texture paste does too, but this way is nice too. It's just This one looks more like stone on a wall. So can you see that? Let's see if you can see the shininess in there. I wish I could get it to show up a little bit. Yeah. 
of the stacked houses. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find that sheet so I can show you. All I did was... Oh, let me look for it really quick. Here it is. So see, like for the teacup one, I just cut out the teacup one. So that's just this one here. So I just cut this piece out like that. And then I took these houses. See where the bird is here? So I just cut around the bird and then cut around here. So you, with this paper, you can make a lot of cards. Just cutting that out. Yeah. So see, that's this, this one with the bird, like that. Cutting those there for cutting the Velcro. <laughs> Yeah, so they make a lot of, you know, a lot of cute cups. So, all right, so we have that one. We have this one. We have like a half hour more. So, I don't know. What do you want to do? Another, we could do another, another brick one. <coughs> what paper line is this? This is Prima's Garden Fable. Prima's Garden Fable. You could do a lot of fussy cutting, but like with the ones that we did with the wall, that was really not too much fussy cutting at all. And they come out nice. Yep. Prima's Garden Fable. Um, so let me see what else can we do. Well, let's do one more. Of course, now I found my bird. I don't have another card. So let's do one more. We'll use one of these doilies. How's that? Or would you want me to show you how to do the plate? The plate was really easy. I'll show you how to do the plate anyway real quick because that's pretty easy. So let me show you what I did. So what I did was I just, I mean, this is going to be a little bit smaller. because, And I took a pencil. If you want to just make a plate. So I just... Trace the inside of my score tape. Cut this out. I mean, if you have a circle punch or, you know, a circle cutter, you certainly could do it with that. But I just use my score tape. And I'm just cutting it out real rough just so that you could see it. So, and then I just took, let me get the black one. Are you welcome? I have a sense of a design, really. <laughs> I try to read like books to see like a lot of people always say, well, how do you know where to put things where? And I, I just, I don't know. I just, I just know how to do it. <laughs> it's weird. And then all I do is now see I inked around the edges. So now you're just going to take your round dauber and then just go around about, you know, half inch in. So just like that so then that's your little plate and so that's how I did this one with the the plate it's just that this one's a little smaller so that's that so we can do another quick one we have a half hour <clears throat> so let's see what we can do I have this pink one I have And we can either, we can, um, I want to try something different. Let me see what I have on the 6x6 pad. I want to use the, um, the, let's do this one with the roses. I love that with the roses. I think I have a bigger one. This one too, if you have the 6x6 pad, I love doing the wall technique with this paper here. So, let's see what else do we have. We have the green one. We could go with the, oh, I did kind of a green already. Oh, the plate idea, yeah, it's really easy. Of course, I did it kind of sloppy, but yeah. So you can do it like that. And then like, here, I almost, <coughs> excuse me, oh, here, I want to show you something else. So <clears throat> that's how you would make a plate, right? So now let's make this into a hat. We'll make this a hat. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a smaller circle. Let's see if I have white paper still. So now I have, um, let's see what size. I need something that's about that same size. So this, here we go. So now we're going to take the middle. And this is how you can make like a, a spring bonnet. So if you wanted to do like a, a Happy Mother's Day card or something like that. I should have done it in black, but you'll get the idea. This is just a quick idea how to, how to do it. So now you're going to cut the inner circle. Oh, thanks. So now we're going to make this a hat, like a bonnet. Like if you're looking down at the bonnet. So, and I wouldn't ink it with black. I probably would have done this with brown, but I'm just showing you really quick. So now I'm going to put this on a piece of cardboard. The cardboard. So I'm going to trace this around and I want to do it a little bit smaller so I'm going to cut inside the um, circle. It doesn't have to be exact. We just want to give it some height. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to glue this. This one here, onto here. My desk is closing in on me. <laughs> so, where is my glue? <coughs> so, I glue that down. And we're going to glue this here down in the middle. Like that. Actually, I think I'm going to put another, I'm going to do another quick little piece just to put it up a little bit higher. Too big? That's good. No, it's a plate now, but I'm showing you how to make a hat. So that's how you would make it if you had made a, you know, that's how I made it for this one. Where is my, whoops. Now what I do with my card. If you wanted to do just a plate, <laughs> you ever see, yes. So if you just want to do a plate, that's how you would do it. But now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a hat. <laughs> So we're going to put that on there and it's going to ink this just a little bit more to give it a little bit more definition. So now we have this. So it's going to be a bonnet. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down. And I'm going to do it just, just slightly not quite in the center just a tad bit over so that it looks so this looks like the back of the bonnet because that's where we're going to put our flowers so then all you do is after that you can take a I don't know if I can use it with this little no, this ribbon is this ribbon is too thick I really need like a thinner ribbon like a smaller ribbon <clears throat> let me see there we go there's this one. I have this one. It's not really the right color, but it'll be good enough. I'm just going to do a quick bunny ears bow. Alright, so we have our little flower here. So in the back here, you're going to put the bow. So let's get some fabric glue. I'm going to add that back there like that. And then I'm going to add tiny little flowers. So let's see, what do I have? <coughs> 
so we could add. These are kind of white. Let me see if I use the yellow ones. These might be a little bit too big for these flowers. Re you really need like tiny little flowers like this. Let me color these. We'll do this. I need to spray these. This one, that one. So let's see what color I have that we could color these with. I have a round. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to use just this. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to take the band, abandoned coral. I'm going to squish that on my mat. I'm going to take some spray. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush. Just wet this down. I'm just going to paint these. They're very tiny. You know these flowers are from the Martha Stewart, the punch. I don't have the punch up here. It's the one that has three flowers. I'll have to, um, I'll have to show them to you next week. So there we have that. It's the one that looks like this. Um... It has... It has that big one, I don't know if you could see, and then it's got two little ones. Can you see that? It's that punch, the Martha Stewart punch. Yes, I punched them and then I yep, shaped them together, yes. They make really cute flowers, I like them, they're tiny, teeny tiny, okay. All right, let me pick that up. Yeah, they're very tiny little flowers. They're like perfect for this, for what we need for our hat. Okay, I'm getting crowded in here. <laughs> Too crowded. All right, so now we have, let me stick this down. I'm going to put um, another piece of cardboard. I'm going to put it, again, just put this on chipboard. I'm going to squish that down. I'm going to add another piece. It's a hydrangea flower. Yes, Sophie, that's the one. That's the Martha Stewart um, hydrangea flower. Yep. And I think that's still available. I think that you can still find that. Okay. So now I put just enough. Like, um, I just don't use, I don't waste my pop, not that I don't waste them, but for cards, I don't know, I just don't, I don't do it. Probably should have put this on, let me see, maybe like a doily. This black is too harsh. Uh, let's see if I have another one around here. thought I had a burgundy one. A burgundy one, here we go. Yep, hold on. We'll use this one. Not really the right color, but I'm just showing you for tonight. So there. So see now how it looks kind of like a hat, but then now we need to add these. I might have to bring this bow down just a little bit. I'm going to add the flowers on here. So I have one there. And then you can just add these. And then I sometimes I cross hatch the hats and make it look like straw. Like if I did this out of um, a beige paper, I would cross hatch it and it would look like straw. I'll put one more on here. My fingers are all sticky. Like that. And then we'll put this one on here. 
I need the fabric one for this. Don't do what? What did you say, Ella? Don't do what? <laughs> you have that one at home? Yeah, they make really pretty little tiny flowers. I like them like if we were doing the window box. I'm going to stick this right under there. Oops. So it's a little crooked, but can you see how it kind of looks like a hat? If I had um, beige, uh, like a straw color straw hat, and of course I'm going, you know, I'm just showing you. Oops. You know, I would do it with a marker and all that, but I'm just showing you for tonight how quick. You were saying that you don't do something on your cards. Uh, I don't usually do pop dots. I usually do the chipboard. So see how it looks kind of like, and this isn't really the right color doily. I really should probably put, I don't know, something else, but not that. <laughs> but, but it makes a cute little hat. Like I do them for Mother's Day cards or for Easter. So it's a cute little hat. This is just not the right doily or anything like that to show you guys. But you get what I mean, right? So you can turn it from a plate to a hat. Cute. All right, so let's see. I need to, so I'm gonna have to. So I'm actually gonna take this apart because I don't really like the doily on there. <laughs> kind of gross. If I had something else, I don't know what. It needs like another, another matting or something. Maybe like, I don't know. It needs something. <laughs> it needs something, but that's not it. Let's see what this is. Oh, you got it now? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, most people that I give, unless it's like to my good friends, I have like a few good people who would hold on to the, um, hold on to it. And I love using like this part. So see, maybe if we put this in here. And then add the hat on there. That looks better. Kind of looks better. Less bulk for shipping. Yes, it's true. And like I said, most people don't um, carry it. I mean, most people don't hold on to it. So if they threw something like this away, I, it wouldn't mind. I mean, I'd be kind of, you know, okay, bye, bunny. <laughs> kind of upset, but, you know. I have so many flowers that really I can't, I can't complain. <laughs> All right, so do you guys have any other questions? I guess I'll end early tonight because I, I thought it was going to take a little bit longer <laughs> with my cards, but I didn't. I did have another card to show, but it, I wouldn't want to have time to do it. Let me see if I can show you my other card. So maybe I'll save it for another time. I don't know if I've done it before. Have I ever showed you guys this card before? And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure other people have showed how to do this. But, um, so this opens up, I forget what it's called, like a secret card or something. I just can't remember if I did it on stream or not. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yeah. So we'll do this card another time because I have to take all the measurements and all that stuff. And so, what is it? I don't know. Yeah. If I was more prepared tonight, we could have done this card, but. So let me clean up this and I'll show you the ones that we did do. Oh, I got a mess here. <laughs> a mess. So let me put my top back on these before they dry out. Yes, Ella's got an extra class on Friday. She's finishing up her, her album before her trip. So this was the one. Um, these are the ones that we did. This one, this one. This one, that one, that's my favorite. That one right there is my favorite. And if you came in late, this was the ones that I did with the um, the shaving cream. <laughs> I love that. I love the feathers. I think they came out cool with the feathers. <laughs> so, any other questions? No questions? 
So have a good week. Um, Paula, yep, everybody's all going over to Paula's. I'll be over there in a little while. I don't know if Happy Diane is on tonight. I know she's still recuperating from her vacation. So I didn't see her pop in here, so I don't know if she's on, so... You need to what? Find what die. Alright, so have a good weekend. Hopefully I will see you um, at Ella's and Paul's later. Don't forget about Lisa. She's going to be streaming um, streaming on Saturday for the first time. So, Oh, her husband is sick? Oh, happy Diane? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so no, nothing for her then. Okay, have a good night and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget on me on Sunday, too. I'll be doing my um, shaving cream for a little bit on Sunday. <laughs> no happy Diane tonight. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> All right, good night. I'll see you later. Die on my cards. Oh, you mean the Tim die. This one with the pediments. Tim's pediments, yeah. Okay, bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs>